this is where I guess the Archbishop and I part company. I think we've been explaining this uh, comprehensively and regularly and continue to do so. And actually, from all I've seen in the polling, the public recognize that in my case, welfare is broken, uh, that it needs reforming, and that far too many people uh, live a life on benefits when they should be productive and back in work. Uh, and I think for the Archbishop to comment that that is not uh, something that the public voted for, I think is quite wrong. They did vote for it. They've been voting for it now, one election after another, and not seeing that they get it. Yes, I think it's a little unbalanced, though, um, much as he has every right to make his commentary, and as I've written in The New Statesman, pointing out that actually I've spent the last 10 years visiting communities up and down the country of the most difficult circumstances. The system we've inherited is the issue, really, which is that we have the highest number of workless households uh, on record. Income equality in the UK is uh, higher than at any other time in my lifetime. Uh, we have, you know, millions of people parked on out-of-work benefits and families whole families, intergenerationally, three, four generations, never holding a job. In communities like this, we incentivize families to break up, uh, to split up because they're better off, and we have young men wandering around fathering children in households all over these communities, bearing no responsibility. This is the problem I have to solve with my welfare reforms, and this is what we're trying to do, reforming a complex benefit system and helping people get back to work. And I've tried to explain that everywhere, and we'll carry on doing it, but I think the Archbishop knows very well that that's what we've been trying to do from the word go. And without it, frankly, we're going to break another generation on this wheel called welfare de uh, uh, dependency.